welcome back to my channel so this is going to be a review for the W7 Genius Feather Light Foundation uh, this is what it looks like right here so we're going to be applying this today and see what we think it is super duper watery from what I can see in the bottle that isn't making me very excited about using this so it says on the back shake well before use we'll do that I've already wet my sponge here So, hopefully it's going to be a nice foundation, I hope it's got coverage, so let's open it up and see what we are going to get. Let's just move this mirror so you can see a bit better. Okay. So it's in one of these little squeezy tubely things, so I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. I'll give it three blobs I suppose. Smell like it doesn't smell of anything, so it's just plain. <laughs> I have wet my sponge. I'm not keen on these blending sponge things. These ones that I got, I think I got these off eBay, and they're absolutely crap. I hate them. You wet them and they don't even go big. But anyway, we are now going to get some of this, and I'm just gonna take it all off my hand, I suppose. I'm just gonna. Straight away, there's just nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to try it a different way and put the liquid actually on the sponge and go that way. So I have some liquid there. I'm just going to buff it out, I guess. can't really see where it's going on I don't know if you can see on camera what is happening but to me not a lot is happening might have needed more product on the sponge maybe shift that hair out of the way I can already tell you I don't like this <laughs> foundation at all, I really don't, I'm just putting more on my sponge quite a lot now because I like to actually see my foundation and at this rate I'm not seeing much in, in uh, real life, I don't know what you're seeing on camera, but to me it is not looking good. I'm struggling to think of things what I can tell you about this because it, to me I just don't like it so when I put a foundation on I actually like to see that I have foundation on I don't like it where it's really sheer where you can't even see it I just don't see the point uh, I don't know, maybe it might be the lighting actually that could be putting me off a little bit. It's not, I don't know, I don't know, I can't make my mind up. Oh, hold on, let's just get a little bit closer here, put the zoom mirror in. You can see a little bit more better now. Yeah, my bad. That was all my fault. It is the lighting. So, I don't want to start in this video again. <laughs> but I do actually have my studio lights set up, which I'm going to have to start putting those on if we're going to get back into the makeup videos. Because it's going to help. When I do that, you can see all of my rough skin from eczema. So I'm not going to take points off for that.
Okay, so that is the foundation applied. Um, what can I say about this foundation? It is really, really light. It feels light when you're putting it on. You can't even tell that you're really putting it on. I know this looks a mess here. This is my eczema on my eye. Uh, but yeah. So it feels really, really light. When it's on, it actually feels kind of powdery, which I don't mind. It has no smell to it. I don't know what else to say. I felt like I had to put a lot on to even see anything. But again, I think this is because of the light. I feel like I've got a ring around here as well. That needs dealing with. Uh, all in all, I suppose if you are on a budget, then this is not bad at all. You can find this at B&M. I think I got this for, I think it was 2 dollars for this one. Uh, which isn't really that bad. Bad, I suppose mm, I think I would have been more happier if I picked it up from the pound shop to be honest um, I don't know what else to say about it I don't normally do reviews on foundations other makeup I probably will but foundations normally isn't one of my things but since I had it in my box of you know new products I thought I'd give it a go so anyway that is that one we're going to do another review today, uh, we've got two more reviews actually coming up. The next one that you're going to see is going to be on the gingerbread palette. Would I buy this foundation again? Um, I think I would, just for some, if I didn't want my foundation to be quite obvious that I'm wearing it then yeah I'd like to wear this one for that reason. Um, I'm really stuck with this one guys I really don't know what to say about this W7 foundation it does feel light on the skin it's very very watery that I don't like uh, but well I would have preferred to have bought it from the pound shop because I feel like it is a pound shop makeup product that's how I feel uh, but yes I would buy it again I don't know what else to say, guys. I'm really sorry about this one. Uh, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!